Hello, and welcome back to another session of Late Night Games. I'm your host, Paul, joined again by Dave. Hey! For another session of Shogun 2 Total War. Now, unfortunately, we did lose about two turns since our last uh, playthrough due to a save file corruption. Um, so, we're just going to plow through those turns again. Like the fierce plow we are. Yep. Um, where we left off last, we were preparing our assault against the Ikoiki, um, who are the gold people. And um, we're going to see what we can do about destroying them and taking all of their land from them. Exactly. That's the general idea here. The more land we can take, the better off we are. Of course, until we can take Kyoto and thus rule Japan. All right. So it's been a little while since we uh, left off. Uh, it's been about three weeks. I had a holiday. Paul was into a lot of other gaming. I was into some other gaming as well. We didn't really connect enough to get any playing in. Luckily, we had a buffer, but uh, that's pretty much all dead now. But what I'm doing right now is I'm just checking where all of my armies are. So I just... thankfully know where my armies are because I only have two of them. Yes. Which is definitely very helpful. I think our biggest... Um, conundrum right now is that navy that is sitting at your port in Ugo province. This is the one that currently has the black ship as part of it. Yes. The nasty black ship. Now, I will have a navy to take that on as soon as I can take the Echigo province from the Iko Iki as I currently have their block their port blockaded. And once Edge goes mine, I will then repair at said blockaded port. Yes. Um, just so you know, Paul, you can actually um, still build boats there, I believe, can you? Um, I can try, but what would be the point? It's the black ship. Yep. Yeah. I'd right. just be wasting money. Just watch my boats move around a little bit, on my screen anyways. Uh, funny about the technical issues we were having, Paul and I both assumed that um, it was something far more complicated than what it was. Spent nearly two hours trying to fix it, and then realized what the problem was, was that the save file was corrupted. It was on my end, but not his, so we couldn't load. <laughs> <laughs> We had re-patched the game, tried using different machines, tried finding archive versions of the game, made sure our build numbers were the same. It was quite the uh, nightmare, to say the least. Well, uh, if we do have any older people watching, they might recognize it as a gong show, or even people who've heard the term before. Hey Dave, guess what? What? I'm making an assault on Echigo. On Echigo. On my next turn. Look how close that is, Dave. Um, before you do anything else, attack that boat that you can see there. It's at full health, and all my boats are near dead. But if you don't kill it, its entire 20 units of army sitting on it are going to land and make your attempt futile. Well then, I am going to pull boat one extremely close and then grab boat two. Boat two. Come in. And once it's in position, I will attack. Auto resolve this. Booyah! Auto resolution for the win. <laughs> Not for the win. You lost. No, I won, but I lost one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten boats. That's a entire. That's a full navy worth of boats. Mind you, he lost. I gained two of his boats. I'm now going to combine these navies into one, as I probably can. Um, not quite. Okay. But that prevents that large army from coming on board. Yep. Um, another suggestion would be to pull your trade ships out of the port that's uh, blockaded, or out of the trade route that's blockaded. Because I'm he's just getting all your money. Him, yeah. yeah. Alright. Now I'm going to take my southernmost army. And leave them on this side of the border for winter because there's no point in moving across the border yet. And that will be it for my turn. And we'll just watch the units that were ready to move, move. And then the AI. That's there attacking the Mori. Farewell, little Mori. Well, the Mori are going to lose to the Shimazu, but the Shimazu are going to be a very uh, formidable foe. We'll need the Chosokabe to attack them. The Ikoiki are moving their units around. They have a lot of armies, but none of them very large. Yes. Oh, look, they just took out my neck, my other trade port. Or my other uh, naval port. Alright, I'm going to attack Echigo. Uh, oh, it's your, your turn. turn. Of course, yeah. Derp. Herp derp. Herp derp derp. One of my generals gained an eye for the ladies, which is minus 7% to troop movement. Alright. The Eco Iki detected my ninja. And because they detected him, I'm going to assassinate one of their monks. And I was successful. Alright. Now. at that again. I am going to build a encampment in my main city uh, to increase the decrease the cost of training units here since there is a weaponsmith here. Not that I tend to trade in that many units, but if I do, I'd rather it be less expensive. And who are you engaging in battle with? I was going to attack the Iko Iki, but for another five turns, if I attack them, everyone else will dislike me, and I can't afford to, uh... Dave, you're our source of income. We cannot afford for you to be disliked. Exactly. Um, however, it's costing us a lot of money for him to blockade that port. But... We have an option. I can gift you one of these, uh, navies. Yes. Which would you prefer, the six medium bunes and two bokoboyas, or the four medium bunes and six bokoboyas? He's got one bokoboya. It doesn't matter. We're I'm going to gift it back to you as soon as I'm done. All right. There you go. Gift wrapped. We got the achievement for that before. Ah. Oh. All right. So for now... I believe I'm going to call that my turn. Just going to move some boats around. <laughs> because I just took possession of those boats, my income dropped significantly. Yeah, that was why I gave you the smaller unit in the end, because they're cheaper. Less units is cheaper. Um, let me know if you need any extra money, because I kind of just have a lot sitting in the bank right now. I should be good for now. I've got uh, 7000 in the bank. That I have nothing to spend it on. Oh. Port That's blockaded. That's a good idea not to overspend. Auto resolve battle. For the sake of argument, eventually we'll show a somewhat ep epic uh, naval battle. Just so you guys get an idea of what it is. 
and you can see us drive boats around in circles. We'll probably play on the game's fast-forward setting just to make it a little less tedious. And you, Dave, now have that unit back. Thank you for use of him. Not a problem. They're actually en route to help you fight the black ship. Those two uh, navies there. I am also going to auto-resolve this battle as I'll repair the gates. It's not a big deal. I just want that port. Decisive victory. As if it would ever be any other way. And my general leveled up. Date Sanamoto has become a better person. In the south of Vechigo, he does have nine units. I'll be careful. I am going to make this guy a level three poet. He's a poet, and now he knows it. Exactly. Poetry increases your rate at learning uh, arts of war. Ha ha. Ha ha. Well, hopefully we can go rather quickly so we can show you some epicness in this episode, but otherwise we hope you're enjoying watching as much as we're enjoying playing. All Especially right. considering how long we spent getting the game to work <laughs> today. <laughs> And I will repair this unit. Repair all units. And then I'll grab this one. And pull it. No, no, I don't want to trade the boats. I want to pull it into port. You can only have a maximum of 10 units in a port. Oh, uh, okay. Well then... I will have... the non-damaged ships not going to port. Guys, I have a couple that are still near full. And all the damaged ones go into port. Ah, it canceled before I had a chance to finish. Go to port. Yes. And now you repair all. Oh, great. It's letting me repair some flip from one set to the other whatever I'll, I'll deal with it next turn <laughs> it's like you can repair these five. Oh, turn these five off now you can repair these four. Oh, turn those four off to repair these five <laughs> I hear the sound of an attack yes your ninja ah. should see this samurai retainers you know what I am going to do this just because I want to show off the Bow Warrior Monks. Yes. And their um, special ability of whistling arrows. Oh god, the arrows! They're whistling over our head and flying at our horse's eyeball. Yes. <laughs> and there's some kind of a pom-pom flag pom-pom going on. I don't know what that is. It's a flag to the flying spaghetti monster, Dave. Come on, get with the times. Uh, I would suggest taking an infantry unit, using them to back up your bull warrior monks, and just using them so they can gain some experience. I'm planning on just using the bow warrior monks. He's just got a unit of samurai retainers, and that's it. Yeah, but if they rush out of the castle at you, <laughs> the bull warrior monks are... We'll mow them down. You think? 
I've got two units of bow warrior monks, both with whistle and fire arrows. Yes. He will be so scared of those whistling arrows overhead. I noticed it might be a bug with the game or a realism thing, but if you're using whistling arrows, sometimes your own units can get scared of them. Well, just like your own units can get hit by arrows, it would make sense. Yeah. Now, if you hear Dave bragging about how awesome his computer is, that's because today he is using a new computer that he just picked up. Yes. We will have to deal with these, uh... I actually decided that I would refrain from it, but since you brought it up, it's awesome. I currently have all my graphics settings at Ultra in, uh... I have, I'm playing in windowed mode, but, uh, I have quite the nice resolution, and, um... I liked this game before, but now I can see flowers in the grass. Welcome to my world, Dave. Yes. Welcome to my world. Unfortunately, my wife will probably not let me upgrade to a new PC for another five years. So, I'll have to sneakily buy new parts when things grow old. I mean, if you follow these units at ground level, Dave, you should be able to see the odd cherry blossom, too. I can see lavender. I can see... Falling like daisies. snowflakes will be the cherry blossoms. Oh, cherry blossoms, because it's, so, it's springtime, isn't it? Yep. Uh. Now, as you can see, the bow warrior monks, compared to a standard archer, have quite the exceptional range. Yes. Um, as far as this game goes, only the bow hero have more. I think I said that in episode 18 as well. The, uh, amalgamated episode. That was 19, Dave. 18 was the mega battle. Ah. Mega battle. That was an awesome battle. It was. So, my bow warrior monks will actually be able to cover the entire fort once they get close enough. Yes. You know, if I was one of these samurai, I would admit defeat and fight for you, Paul. That's <laughs> what I would do. Well, they're about to once the whistling arrows start to come. I can hear them. All right, here they come. And he's already got the little uh, scully thing showing up. Alright guys. Rain fire upon him. Don't destroy the temple. <laughs> of course you could always build another one. Once the whistling ones are done, their next volley will be flame. And three. Oh, that was another volley of whistles. The whistles last for quite a long time, I think. Like, a minute. Yeah, that was four volleys now. Come on, guys. Loose some fire. You guys are all monkey and monkish. Do what you need to do. And this poor unit of samurai retainers back here, being rained upon, has only lost seven people so far. It looks like because I activated my fire while my whistle is still going, my fire didn't actually go through. Huh. I'll have to this remember never happened that. To me. Well, I'm going to have my other archers come a little closer and also fire. Because they have fire. And fire burns. Fire burns. Fire boo earns. Oh, they're running. Ha! 
<laughs> nice message, Dave. Your macro worked. But it only worked once. Keep pressing the key. Oh, did you see that volley hit? It's just a massive flurry of arrows coming down. These bow warrior monks are probably the most beautiful thing I have ever had fire arrows. These guys are running, but there's nowhere in this castle that's not within my reach. Literally, the whole fort is within my reach. And the bow uh, warrior monk range is so wide, too. <laughs> that's what she said. To quote a tired adage, Paul... Absolute power corrupts absolutely. Be careful with what you have. One remaining samurai <laughs> running for his life. The other guy got mowed right down. I think he's dead. I think he took 20 arrows <laughs> to the chest. He's definitely dead. <laughs> They're still coming down. That is some intense accuracy. So that, my friends, is the Bow Warrior Monk, and why we love them. Yes. Also, Naginata Warriors, uh, Warrior Monks, are also quite good. They have an ability that frightens any nearby units, and extremely high morale so even if there are like five of them left they'll fight their hardest well of course they're monks they got that whole discipline thing going on I lost zero units and I will peacefully occupy and I will also Upgrade my food. And upgrade my market. And that is... Two territories of the Eco Iki taken. They do have quite a sizable army though, sitting outside of... Nagoka or whatever it's called. Nakawaka? Yes. Oh, Kazuke, you mean? Oh, no. Yeah, Kazuke. I think we'll we'll have a pretty easy time of taking over the Iko Iki. It's dependent on what we meet after the Iko Iki, um, whether or not that's strong or weak. I am going to upgrade my lumber camp that I have in Fukushima. And I'm going to... Oh yeah, these boats won't let me upgrade. Fix them. Well, these three. There we go! If I select just three and then repair, it works. Alright. So, boats are repairing. Territories are taken over. I've got enemies on my turf, but not very many. Uh, he's got one unit outside of Shinosuke that's not a threat. The enemies outside of Echigo, however, are kind of a threat. It is a army of... Well, he's got two generals, at least, because his second unit's a general. And he's got some Ashigaru with him. Iko Iki Ashigaru. A little bit stronger than normal Ashigaru, but uh, definitely not as strong as Samurai. Now, Considering the army that you have to defend, including four bullmen and five... Katana Samurai. I think you have a pretty good shot of defending against him. And Iko is going down as Shinto Buddhism goes up. As I do have a Shinto Buddhist monk with me. And that is where we are going to end my turn. Yep. And we'll just watch Paul's units move around. Then the AI...
The Shimazu are moving dangerously close to my ports with their boats. I'm worried that they may be planning something, but they don't have any armies on those boats, so I'm not too worried. At most, they might just try to take all your money, which will cause you to get swift vengeance. It looks like Eco Iki were trying to reinforce that territory knowing I was coming in. They brought the units through the boats, as well as they brought that one army in. Yeah, and they just pulled out as well. Yep. <laughs> pulled out. <laughs> That's what she said. Oh, no. Now, they do have two unknown units sitting outside of my castle. So I'm going to pull a warrior monk, a bow samurai, a yari, a katana samurai, and... One of my generals. No, not everyone. I accidentally <laughs> was holding shift instead of control. Is it letting you move? It's your turn! <laughs> yes! Ah, the joys of multiplayer gaming. Um, I keep forgetting you have those things. <laughs> turns, yes. I'm just going to move my ninja into cause K and let you know what's going on there. It looks like Hattori actually just split the Mori in two. And at the same time, Chosokabe, if you can tell the difference in the between the gray, brown, black... Is starting to push on to black, Hattori's is starting to push on towards Kyoto as well. So Hattori have become less of a threat as well. Now, I just saw a large Iko Iki army over on the, uh, in the Mino province, directly north of Awari, where you are. A large Iko Iki where? Sorry, Awari? Yeah, in the Mino province. Their castle town is very full. Yeah, I'm actually, um, preparing defense and assault there. Um, I have, a. Uh, full-size army. I'm just waiting